Coming up today in the Leipzig Loco, we play the second round of the DFB Pokal, and for the first time in the save, we do take on Bundesliga opposition in Stuttgart. We go into that game still unbeaten off the back of those tactical changes that we did make coming into this week. But the bad news, even more injuries. Welcome to episode 23 of the Leipzig Loco with Locomotive Leipzig here on Sean Does FM. I hope you are doing well and come out today as I said the second round of the DFB Pocket we take on Stuttgart from the Bundesliga and before then we look to stay on top of the Free Liga as we take on a team who last season we did have the wood over in Ingolstadt away from home so if you're looking forward to those two games in today's episode then do remember to go down below leave a thumbs up on the video and if you haven't done so already and are enjoying the series here on the channel also consider hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on as well it is greatly appreciated but as you can see top of the league off the back of the games that we have played off the back of yesterday's episode where our good form did continue from the start of this week and we did make some tactical changes in terms of the roles that we are using in our fluid counter-attacking style if you missed the episode yesterday i'll leave a link to it over in the top right corner, we've played four games since then. Haven't quite won them all. We did drop points at home against the Hoffenheim Seconds, but around that, have beaten both Klusen, Munster, and Kaiserslautern narrowly away from home. And our most recent game took on a team who actually played in the first season of the save back down in the regional league in Nordost and BFC Dynamo. Those guys really struggling so far in this division and thankfully picked up a quite comfortable 4 1 win. Over those guys, those results do mean we've jumped up the table even further. Of course, in yesterday's episode, we were in one of those promotion spots, albeit from memory. I think it was the one where we would have had to go through a playoff and just in there because Schalke are in that third spot, the Schalke seconds. But now we are on top of the table and are going to stay in a promotion spot no matter what happens in this first game of today's episode before we do focus on the DFB Pockel as we do take on Stuttgart from the Bundesliga. Hopefully we can pull off another upset and of course get some more much needed money into the club here at Lokomotiv Leipzig. But unfortunately during that good run of form that we have just had, we have picked up some pretty serious additional injuries to Kevin Zizek still out with that broken ankle. Two more injuries. First up, Lucas Search isn't actually out for too much longer but has been missing for a little while in that most recent patch that we have played with a lower back stress fracture so he won't feature in either of the games in today's episode so that's our first choice centre back who is out it does mean that Mark Lamptey will come into the team in his place he looks a better ball playing defender than someone like Daniela Hindu and as well as that probably more seriously because he's the player at the moment with the highest average rating since he has come to the club this season our new goalkeeper and Matus Hasman is also out for the same period albeit thankfully he is already on his general rehab but our first choice goalkeeper is also at the injury that he picked up was an abdominal strain and that means that good old Issa Dogen is back in the team for today's episode at a 6.4 in that most recent one against BFC Dynamo and even then that goal that they did score he was pretty at fault at there you can see the rating there wasn't a great one for him and that's the only game he's played so far hopefully will perform a bit better in these two coming up in today's episode, but that is definitely the biggest area of concern going into today's episode, missing our new first choice goalkeeper who so far has done a pretty good job in between the sticks, definitely upgrade on what we had previously there and what we're going to see today in Issa Dogen. But first up today, we take on an Ingolstadt team. These guys are in the promotion, haven't they? Are sixth on the league table, predicted to finish third. Have just found some form in their last couple of games with wins over Victoria Cologne and SV Meffenberg, of course, last season, we picked up some quite good wins over these guys. So hopefully, even though this one is away from home, we can continue our winning ways in the free league before things are probably going to come to an end when we do take on our first Bundesliga opposition of the save in that second round of the DFB Pockel, albeit a team who at the moment, if we make our way down that table there, on the left-hand side, are in a relegation playoff spot in Stuttgart. So of the teams that we could have taken on, from the Bundesliga, probably one of the ones that we actually would have preferred considering their form so far this season, but 
it's still going to be quite tough taking on a team with a lot more resources than we have here at Lokomotiv Leipzig at the moment. Interesting to see Tom that Bundesliga table by Leverkusen, one of the teams who we could have chosen as our senior affiliate, all the way down in 18th. A quick update on RB Leipzig too. While we are on the subject so far, they have not won anything in this save and have just been qualifying for the Champions League and making finals of the DFB Pockel without winning it with the usual suspects in Bayern Munich picking up most of the German top division awards. There's a bit of an update on RB Leipzig, also our affiliate in Eintracht Frankfurt, off to a quite good start there in the Bundesliga, up in third and behind the big two. But that second game of today's episode could be our first loss in a little while. Hopefully it doesn't come sooner and we can keep our good record against Ingolstadt and Tech going into that game, despite the fact we are now without quite a few first choice players, a few more than we have had over the past few episodes, but hopefully we can still continue this good run of form. We'll come back shortly and hopefully stay on top of the free league as we travel to Ingolstadt. And here are the team sheets for this first game of today's episode. They are Ingolstadt. They are still playing their five at the back, three up front and two in the defensive midfield. So hopefully this is a formation we can overcome. Obviously a few changes for us with those injuries, as I said, Dogen and goal and Lamptey at centre back. Also, Lehman starts over Ricardo Grimm. He's just also come back from an injury, only recommended for 45 minutes, but hopefully he'll be fine for that second game where we do get back into the DFB Pockel, but hopefully we can continue our good run of form and stay on top of the free league. And just past the 15 minute mark, the first highlight in this game is a free kick to the home team. Thankfully, that one's a bit deep and we do get a hit on it, albeit a Tilgan does win it back off the back of that clearance, but not for long. Kopash here will try and put a ball into the mixer. Thankfully, Lamptey heads that one away. Now, Weigel flicks that one on, but unfortunately, nowhere near Ziani up front. And Ingle start here in this first highlight. Do look like they will be on the front foot. Good chance there for Schmidt, who gets in behind our defense. Thankfully, it's a Dogen comes up with a save as you'd expect in that situation, and it's still nil all coming up to the 20 minute mark. And with 10 minutes left in the first half, we do get the next highlight so far stats wise, this one has been a pretty quiet game, pretty even, three shots to two, and one more on target for us than the opposition, but so far no highlights in our favor, and just that one that Ingolstadt did have, thankfully, pretty weak shot straight into the path of the goalkeeper. Now a missed header there, which does allow Schmidt yet again to get a chance, but thankfully he hits that one onto the roof of the netting, and that means it is still nil all, but a highlight only a few minutes off the back of that. This time it might be in our favour, albeit Lehman undercooks that pass, but thankfully off the back of them trying to get on the attack there, it is well covered by the likes of Heinke, and now we might get a chance to do something here down this right-hand side, but so far, pretty average from us based on what we have seen, because no highlights in our favour, and now Awosu gives the ball away, down that right hand side and then they'll start get a chance here they put one in behind tight angle and Ernesto brings down a player inside the box it's a terrible spot to give away a penalty and now Ingolstadt will get a chance here to make the most of their dominance based on what we've seen so far in this game and go 1-0 up unless Dogen can go the right way he went away but it looks like the player there who took the penalty Lou Gwigi, I believe is how that might be said he goes down the middle and Dogen went one way and he will get the goal, which will give him a pretty well-deserved lead in this game. Just shy of half time, we go 1-0 behind. And that's it for the first half in this game and it's been a pretty disappointing performance so far, even though this one has been away from home. Ingle start take a 1-0 lead thanks to that penalty, which Ernesto did give away. And we haven't done a lot to be fair, at least that we've seen, as you can tell, with the same amount of shots on target. But with that penalty, the XG is a lot lower. And it doesn't look like we've done a heck of a lot that's been threatening the opposition so far in this game, based on what I can tell. We'll make one change here at halftime. Lehman did pick up a yellow card during the first half, so Ricardo Grimm can get a bit of game time under him before we do get into that DFB Pockle second round. But need the guys to improve here in the second half. We'll get things back underway. 1-0 down. And only a couple of minutes into the second half now, Michael Wosu is on a 6.4 and has just picked up a yellow card, so we might as well take him off for Taylor Biddy. Still 1-0 behind. And now we are at the hour mark and still nothing has happened in this second half and still we're not showing a heck of a lot. So all these players below a 6.5 can come off. So that means we're going to make changes. Both wingbacks will come off. A Hendo at right back. Vufak at left back. Also Shrimp the Shrimp can come on up front for Ziani. they will be all our subs used. And hopefully that helps us to do something in this last half hour as we are still 1-0 behind. And we're just ending the last five minutes of this game. It's been a very boring second half so far. Might have been time for us now to go on attacking and also just try and go a little bit wider 
bit of a higher tempo and hopefully that will help as you might have been able to tell there as well our wingers also on an attacking duty but this has been a pretty poor game for us albeit late free kick here in our favour Eagles header in fact Heinke it is like it should be at that far post gets his head on the end of that one but unfortunately just goes over the bar and that's really been the only chance so far that we have seen in this game hopefully we get one more in the 50 seconds remaining in game time and that's now going down even further as Dela takes his sweet sweet time over that goal kick they pump that one deep tail but he will win that now Vufark but unfortunately puts that back into the mixer so Ingle Stark can win that ball back and it looks like they're holding on to it pretty well at the moment a Hindu at right back for this last half hour has done an okay job and we do keep the ball here and now get it out to the other side Vufark makes his way down the left good bit of dribble work there from him just manages to keep possession yet again we're sort of undercooking these passes today just looking a little bit off in this game and now Julian Weigel loses out on possession Ingle start get it back and that was a very poor performance and for the first time since the start of this week when we did make those role changes to our tactic we do suffer a defeat in the league overall it was a pretty even game but unfortunately that penalty with Hansel Ernesto did give away in a spot really he didn't need to right inside the touchline. He gave that one away in Ingolstadt. Did put it away. And that means that we are no longer on top of the table. Now two points behind Heidenheim. But thankfully we are still in an automatic promotion spot. That would be a lot nicer than the race that we did end up in last year. Looking to make that promotion playoff spot. But still in a good position. But hopefully that doesn't dent the confidence too much. As we'll come back shortly and play the second round of the DFB Pockel. Against Stuttgart from the Bundesliga. And here are the team sheets for the second round of the DFB Pocket Whip. Just made one change to the team that did play in that game against Ingolstadt. Ricardo Grimm does come back in for Lehmann. So we're pretty close to full strength now, of course, considering the injuries that we do have. There is Stuttgart. Some interesting names in that team. Obviously, a few players there who turn out decent. And most football manager saves, but hopefully we can do something here at home and make our way through to the third round of this cup competition. Either way, we'll get a decent payout for making it this far, so hopefully that gets the club a lot better off financially. A Tilgan there was on the ball, does lose out, but thankfully Zimmer will retrieve it for us, or at least a player did get it out to him there. Down that left-hand side, already Stuttgart, putting us under a lot of pressure compared to the teams that we've been playing so far this season. In the free league, Lumpty finds Heinke, now Ricardo Grimm back to Heinke, will ping that one out to Owosu down the right-hand side. He tries to link up there with Ziani, but undercooks that pass, and now Stuttgart, Look like they might get the first good chance in this game. Thiago Thomas with a big one, but puts it wide and thankfully still nil all early in the second round of the cup. And in fact, there's another highlight here starting at the three minute mark. This time a Tilgan tries to get something going down that left hand side. Seaman in goal. He is a very, very good goalkeeper in football manager this year. Plays that one out to Mabba Panos. And now it goes back to one of the more promising goalkeepers in the game. Of course, we're only in the third season, so he's probably not as good as he will become yet, but as a player to certainly keep an eye on. So far this game, a lot of play down this near side, so we'll just zoom out a little bit. And Thiago Tomas yet again, with a big chance, and this time Issa Dogen kind of gets tested, and that's never a good thing when it's Issa Dogen. Thiago Thomas will beat him, and after only four minutes, it already looks like this could be a long day at the office. We go 1-0 down here, our defense just coming out of line a little bit so far, it looks like, and that's allowing Thiago Thomas to get in behind, Issa Dogen gets beaten, and we're 1-0 down very early. And only a few minutes off the back of that opening goal, yet again, Stuttgart here are down the right end of the field. Thankfully, we do win that ball back, though, and can try and do something here down this right-hand side. Ernesto tries to make some leeway. We play it back to Eagles Eda Heinke, and now we find some space here down this near side. Nice ball there for Ziani. Big chance, but unfortunately misses the target. Need to be taking those chances against a team like Stuttgart, and we are still 1-0 down coming up to the 15 minute mark and in fact just after that 15 minute mark there's another highlight in this one so so far it's been a very action-packed game good work there from Ernesto to get that ball back for us and now we switch that one out to Zimmer down this left hand side where so far does look like we're finding a little bit more space than out on that far side now Zimmer takes his time but unfortunately still last year wins that ball back for Stuttgart and Mitchell will find Ulrich and now it's a two on one big chance there for Fagir but yet again Stuttgart Missed the target, so might be some form there showing from a team down near the relegation zone 
of the Bundesliga and somehow we are still only 1-0 behind and down the other end. A corner here in our favour, Magda Panos will head that one away and it does give Stuttgart a chance here. Two clearly lines back on the ball yet again there is Mavra Panos, plays that one forward to Plas, and they try and get something going down that far side, but so far, apart from that one set piece and chance to Ziani, well and truly Stuttgart on the front foot in this one, looks like Grim there might have held a player back, but play is continuing, so we get a chance here to try and clear our lines, Ernesto finds a woe, so we try and get something going here down that far side, despite the fact we are being pressured pretty well here, and we eventually switch it out to Zimmer, down the left, yet again, that looks like the side. We're more likely to do some damage in based on the highlights that we have seen so far in this game. Now a Tilgan inside the box. He squares that one. Michael Wosu coming in from the right wing. And despite the fact that we've been pretty obviously second best so far in this game, we make it 1-0 around about halfway through the first half. And maybe we can grab some momentum now and try and grab a lead here at home against the Bundesliga outfit. But thankfully... That goal gets things back to all square. Mike Iwosu with a leveller after 22 minutes. And only a few minutes off the back of us grabbing an equaliser. And also Mike Iwazeta picking up a yellow card. Now it is a throw in here for Stuttgart. But Linus Zimmer does some good work for us down that left hand side. So that does look like the side we are more likely to do some good stuff so far. In this game might be something that we try and focus on during the course of the second half. If that does continue. But the ball unfortunately does find its way back into the feet. Of Stuttgart, now Endo, nice ball over the top there for Fagir, just on the edge of the box. And Ulrich here on the volley, good chance for him there. Just blast that one high and wide. So it is still one all coming up to the half hour mark. And that was it for the first half of the second round tie in the DFB Pockle. So far actually doing a really good job here against Bundesliga opposition one all. And stats wise, we've had the one more shot on target. Much higher XG despite the fact that based on the highlights that we've seen, you'd expect that to be the other way around. So fairly happy with how this is going. Hopefully that continues. In the second half, we are going to make a few changes though. Mike equals it on a yellow card. So Daniela Hindu can come on for him. And also Ziani up front, only on a 6.3. So we'll take him off for Shimp the Shrimp. And hopefully he can do a decent job and maybe even help us to pull off another cup upset here in the second round of the DFB Pockle. We'll get things back underway. Locked up at one all. And around about five minutes into the second half, first highlight here is a corner to Stuttgart. Fagerdi with a good chance, and then Felix Metzger tries to bundle that one over the line, but thankfully we've got some players there who do get in the way in the likes of Panzu Ernesto, so a good early chance there for Stuttgart to grab the lead. Thankfully, though, it is still one all, albeit only a few minutes later. Now they have another throw inside of our half. Endo plays a ball over the top here for Fagir, and from a tight angle, he beats Issa Dogen. That feels like one that shouldn't be making its way into the back of the net, but it does. And we go 2-1 down early here in the second half. And much like the first one, Stuttgart have come out of the sheds looking pretty sharp. Good finish there from Fagir, but still, you'd expect Dogen to maybe make a bit of a better effort, even though that one does just sneak inside of that far post. He sits in behind a few of our defenders there, does the goal scorer, and that makes it 2-1 early in the second half. And only a few minutes later, now it's a corner here to Stuttgart, and they get another chance here from set piece. And Mavropanos charges onto that one, will grab his first goal of the season. And now we are really facing uphill battle here. 3-1 behind, just 10 minutes into the second half. This one is a very good hitter there from the centre back. And now we are two goals down. And just past the hour mark, I think it's time for us to make a few substitutions. In fact, we might make our last three here because Linus Zimmer's just picked up a yellow card. I think that 6.3 rating's a bit harsh because most of the good stuff we did in the first half, he was involved in. But because he's on that yellow card, Vufak will come on for him. Also, Mark Lamptey is struggling out there on a 6.3. So we'll bring on Pitlicka for him and move Leon Heinke back to centre back. And as well as that, Julian Weigel only going okay on a red heart. Tim Lehman will replace him. That's all of our subs used. Off the back of going 3-1 down with a half hour left. And nearly into the last 20 minutes of the second round of the DFB Pockle. We do they have a goal kick, which Issa Dogen does take. But unfortunately, it's a little bit deep. They play that one back to Simon and goal there for Stuttgart. Certainly a goalkeeper we'd like here. But obviously, we are down in the free league. Issa Dogen comes out to claim that. He doesn't get there. And Thiago Thomas takes a rather fortunate deflection. And can put that one into an open net. Issa Dogen is on a 6.2, and that's probably 
Not going to get any better off the back of this. I want my first choice goalkeeper back. Issa Dogan will not be getting a contract renewed here going into next season. And now it is all over for us in the DFB pocket. We'll have to go attacking after going 4-1 down. And very short off the back of that fourth goal. Now it's a free kick here to Stuttgart. Thankfully someone for us there does get their head on the end of it. Tilgan tries to win that one down that far side. But unfortunately they play it up one back. 2-1 of the goal scorers in Mavla Panos there for Stuttgart. A really good one from him. Power header from a corner. And now Anton plays the ball over the top. We try and clear that one there from Leon Heinke. And again it's a Dogen. Gets caught out a little bit. Albeit might not be entirely his fault that time. It's another goal. Or Thiago Thomas and Stuttgart are well and truly putting the foot down here in the second half. That makes it 5-1. And this is starting to get a little bit ugly. Heinke, there's a few another good deflections there for Thiago Thomas. And he's able to put that one away and make it 5-1 Stuttgart. And just into the last 10 minutes of this game, we are still down by four goals. So unfortunately, this is where our cup run is going to end for this season. But to be fair, we've already done better than expectations. Making our way this far, Kulabali there. Gets past Panzer when they're still down that right-hand side. He is also having a bit of a shocker today in both games. In today's episode, of course, gave away the penalty, which led to that loss against Ingolstadt. And Kulabali will now get on the score sheet from a tight angle there. And that makes it 6-1. Really poor effort there from Ernesto. Got nowhere near the ball to be fair to Dogen. That time he's probably not at fault, but Kulabali tucks that one away. 6-1 with less than 10 minutes left. And we're into the last few minutes of this game, and unfortunately, things have just fallen apart for us here in the second half. And in the end, after being locked up at one all at half time, we just fell to absolute pieces early in that second half and never really recovered. Tiago Thomas did pick up a hat trick, rather fortunate one, to those goals in the second half. We did make some pretty obvious mistakes. Also, goals to Figuia, Mavla Panos, as well as Kulabali, and they well and truly cancel out Michael Osu's effort. From the first half, we can't be too angry with the boys, but still 6-1 probably can get a little bit angry with them, even though it's a game that we were expected to lose, and we bow out of the DFB Pockel off the back of a 6-1 defeat against Stuttgart from the Bundesliga. And back in the inbox off the back of those two games in today's episode, and unfortunately things have come crashing down for us here at Lokomotiv Leipzig. Not to worry about that loss in the DFB Pockel, because we're never likely to win that anyway, albeit did give us a bit of a glimpse of hope there at halftime. Still locked up at one all, but that second half was a little bit pathetic. Issa Dogen, I can't wait for our first choice goalkeeper to get back from that injury because he was absolutely awful at times during that second half. But to be fair, some of our other defenders didn't exactly cover themselves in glory either. And also, of course, that first game today was a bit more concerning. A 1-0 loss to Ingolstadt, which does mean no longer on top of the free league, but thankfully are still in a automatic promotion spot. And our next game is against one of the worst teams in the division. So hopefully we can get back on track with one good thing to come from those losses. In today's episode, we did get 315,000 for making our way through to that second round of the DFB Pockel and also having a look at the finances off the back of that for the first time in a long time. We are in the positive in our overall balance. So hopefully that will improve our transfer budgets for the upcoming seasons if we can continue to stay in the DFB pocket for the first couple of rounds when the opportunity does present itself. But I think that will do it for today's episode. As I said, two losses. A heavy one in the second round of that DFB pocket against Stuttgart, albeit with them being from the Bundesliga. That was expected a bit more concerning. That loss to Ingolstadt by one goal to nil, but as I said, still in an automatic promotion spot. If you enjoyed that episode, then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video, and if you haven't done so already and are enjoying the series here on the channel, also consider hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on as well. We'll come back tomorrow. I don't think we'll go too far in between now and then. As I said, we've got a couple of games where hopefully we can get back on track against the team bottom of the table now in the kill seconds and then we take on Alversburg away from home, and then hopefully it will still be a top-of-the-table clash as we do host Heidenheim, and we might come back a few games later at the start of December, but probably the last game that we'll show you before we do get into the winter break as we take on the Bayern Munich seconds. That could be interesting, albeit so far those guys are just going okay 
down in 11th. So we'll come back tomorrow and hopefully still have a top of the table clash against Heidenheim and also see what the buy-in seconds do look like here in 2024. And until then, thank you very much for watching. Keep on keeping on and I'll see you then. Cheers. Don't know how